Good morning. Good morning and Jai Shri Krishna to one and all. I, Anu Asher, on behalf of Team Drishtikon, would like to welcome you all to the ninth webinar of Drishtikon Talks. As you all are aware, at Drishtikon, we have leading Bhatia personalities who come and share their views and ideas with us. We would like you all to get maximum value addition from these talks and hence, I would request you all to keep your mic on mute and turn off your videos so that there's no distraction while the speaker is talking. Any questions you may have can be typed into the chat box and they will be answered towards the end of the webinar. In case there are any queries left unanswered, we assure you that we shall respond to those by email after the webinar. If you have any further feedback or suggestions, you can convey them to us by email at drishtikon.talks at gmail.com. Our speaker for today is Dr. Sandhya Ben Purecha from Mumbai. I request Dwani Morparya to introduce our speaker to you. Over to you, Dwani. Thank you, Anu. Good morning and Jai Shri Krishna to everyone. Today, we have amongst us Dr. Sandhya Purecha. Dr. Purecha, exemplified as India's foremost performing academician, incredible dancer, choreographer, author, scholar, and researcher. Her passion for excellence and artistic talents shine through her commitment to Indian classical dance coupled with her unparalleled vision. She founded the Institute Kala Parichaya in Mumbai 35 years ago and has given the understanding of the art of Bharatnatyam to over 5,000 students till date. She is the senior most disciple of late Guru Acharya Parvati Kumar. With a bachelor's degree in entire Sanskrit being ranked first in Mumbai University, she has a master's in Alankar Shastra and an LLB from Mumbai University. She has earned a doctorate in Natya Shastra in theory and practice of Angika Abhinaya in Bharatanatyam. She is the founder principal of the pioneering Bharata College of Fine Arts and Culture in Mumbai, offering Sanskrit and dance-based degree post-graduation and PhD courses in Bharatanatyam and Kathak. She is the managing trustee and secretary of the Sarfoji Rajiv Bhosli Center, an NGO that works towards preservation, promotion, and propagation of Indian arts and culture. Dr. Purecha has been presented with numerous awards of appreciation and honors for her constant efforts towards classical dance and her lifetime devotion in the field of arts, the most prestigious award being Sangeet Natak Academy Award for Overall Contribution in 2017, a national award presented to her by the President of India, Sri Ramnath Kovind. Dr. Parecha has performed in various national and international festivals in places such as Dubai, Toronto, New York, and many more. Today, Sandhya Bain will share with us her insights on her innovative approach towards Shastra, that is theory, and Sampradaya, that is practice of dance, and her experience in the field of dance, education, and research. We welcome you, Sandhya Bain. The screen is all yours. Dear all, Namo Namaha. Namo Namaha. I hereby thank Dushtikom uh, for inviting me to share my journey in classical dance. Namaskaram. Actually, I'm very excited. Uh, because this is for the first time that our Kachi Samaj or Kachi community has recognized me. And I will say, if there are, there is a state recognition, there is a nation recognition, there is a worldwide recognition, but you, if it is your own community, if it is your own people who recognize you and who felicitates you, you really feel high in the sky. And, uh, and the same thing is happening to me today. And that's why I prepared a paper uh, because I, in the excitement, I might forget something. And also there is a, I have prepared some uh, PPT presentation, uh, which will help uh, for all of us to understand my journey in the dance. And I think I'm going to say that 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 I'm going to say that
घणे लगो जे लगे तो के अच्छी बोलती हुंदी के ना पण आई वी विल नॉट बिलीव के मजा मम्मी के काका का के मासा मासी उनके बाबे नो मणी बेगो अच्छी सुदी तो कच्छी में गालियो करा के जडे भी फोन करो जडे भी गालियो करो तो मणे कच्छी में बात की थी इतले कच्छी मते आवडे तो आने आ कच्छी है जो मके दरवा है माय टाइटल इटसेल्फ प्रूफ दैट आई एम ग्रेटिफाइड टू बी नोन एज अ कच्छी तो पण कच्छी में जो चोजे के मीठो सा जो कच्छ ने मीठो सा जा मारू है मीठो सा जी गालियो है ने मीठो सा जो दृष्टि कोण है तो मीठो सा जा जा दर्शक है तो मणी है के मणे के कच्छ थी मान कच्छ जी मडई थी गनी आणि मुंबई सुधी अचेली ये संध्या पूरे जी जा लख लख नमन है खूब खूब प्रणाम करे मणे गुरुजन के प्रणाम करी मणे विद्वत जन के प्रणाम करी आणि आज के कार्यक्रम की शुरुआत करा थी अ my journey of indian classical dance in mumbai is unlike the other field uh, because i definitely remember the my root uh, because uh, from the traditional tree if i talk about uh, the uh, just now when uh, my introduction was there that they said that we are, i'm going to talk about the shastra and sampradaya because dance itself one of the very beautiful shlok given in the abhinay darpanam says etascha nartana vidho shastra taha sampradaya taha satam anugrahena ivo vigneyo nanyata bhuvihi any nartana vidhi not only any nartana vidhi i will talk about the whole life or uh, the way of life or definitely we can talk about the any art form if you want to learn has to be learned through the shastra and sampradaya what is shastra what is what is written in the textbook or the, in the treatises Uh, the shastra and sampradaya what is sampradaya sampradaya is the kula you are born in sampradaya is the parampara which you are going to follow sampradaya is the style or the gharana or the uh, the the family you are going to follow and you have to follow the shastra and sampradaya both when you learn any art form or you when you live your life satam anugrahena ivo vigneyo nanyata bhuvi anugraha what is the meaning of anugraha anugraha means you have to take a guru uh, guru's anugraha teacher who is your teacher matru devo bhava pitru devo bhava acharya devo mata is your first guru pita is your second guru and acharya acharya is right from the childhood you go to the school you come to the uh, high school you go to the college you learn any art form you have your own gurus teaching various subjects and masters in many field giving you a knowledge are the gurus the guru the one who gives the knowledge uh, so i was talking about that this shastra and sampradaya when it comes to the uh, when it comes to this uh, learning a basic parampara a basic tradition i just remember uh, and i cannot forget and say that my father was making all three of us we were three of us sandhya bhavana and deepak so he was always uh, we have we were having this tree at home and he said anand pardhan jiva versi jo pake kare jo ai yaad karo makkan natha lal ji sundar das ranchod das jamna das ratan si veer si deepak and and that is the first step of the life i don't remember maybe i was four five but i do remember all these three and remembering and recollecting the tradition of or the parampara or uh, so the parampara is or the shila is itself in the kula and this a four or five year old children were seeing the tree and you can see the tree that now the uh, it's growing Uh, slowly and uh, the parampara of the one family is going ahead <clears throat> and uh, this uh, in uh, this tree is a uh, respect to our own tradition to our own ancestor to our own family and this was a part of a life i have remember one very beautiful story here i would like to share you that uh, our great grandfather uh, saved the life of a mustard king and uh, he was getting gifted with a small necklace and that necklace was titled or termed as a tanmanyo uh, 
and this became our family uh, traditional jewelry which has to be transferred from one generation to another generation and you can see uh, my uh, nephew uh, my brother's daughter brother's uh, son deepak uh, son uh, parth is wearing this uh, jewelry tanmanyo which is passed on during his janoya ceremony the thread ceremony uh, in mumbai so uh, i mean so this generation also is we are make, trying to make aware of the tradition the parampara the kula the shil uh, and uh, uh, we 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 all respect this uh, kula shil and parampara of ours <laughs> and uh, in this uh, connection i just remember one this uh, shlok and i said let me put it this that yesham na vidya na tapo na danam gnanam na shilam na guno na dharma te marte loke bhuvi bhar bhuta manushya rupena mudash charate if you don't learn on educate yourself there is a tapa means you really have to dedicate all your life to do what you do dan you must learn to give something gnana you are you should be always ready to take the knowledge shila your character your characters and your gunas your own values and your norms and the dharma the duties you should never forget and if you don't follow all this thing then aap log to manushya ke roop mein pashu ke saman hai you just like an animal in the form of a man so these are the basic root uh, uh, shlokas or the root points which were which were sowed in our life from the childhood and <clears throat> uh this after the i talked about the parampara and the kula and the shila let me go to the practice i mean practically uh, dharma the duties what we do used to do it uh, i remember every sunday morning we three children uh, of vc puraja used to go to the panduran shastris part shala in madhava and in madhava they used to teach us the karagre vasati lakshmi samudra vasane devi and all the religious uh, shlokas samudra uh, vasane karagre i would say almost all uh, vaishnava shlokas were taught to us but the sitting arrangements were according to the school standards what was this when we went to the uh, madhava and uh, patshala then how do it uh, impact in our life then the word comes the sanskara what is the sanskara sanskaras are the mental impression they are the psychological imprints in the life so panini defines the sanskaras as sam prayupe bhya karoti bhushane it means that which adorns one's personality is known as a sanskar i love one more uh, definition of the sanskara by the shabda kosha which says that sanskaranam gunantaradhanam sanskarah it means that which brings about quality transformation in human being is the sanskara the jaimini sutras again the sage explains the term sanskara as an act which makes a certain things or a person fit for the certain purpose of the life those are the sanskaras the tantra vartika defines sanskara as the removal of the negative mental conditions that is a papakshaya and the generation of the positive qualities through the purification of the mind that is a chitta shuddhi they are the sanskara thus the word sanskaras also has got one more meaning is a sacrament by means of sanskaras the mind is reawakened to the ultimate goal in the life which is spiritual wisdom and liberation from the cycle of birth and death so why the word sanskara are important why going to the patshala is important as along with the vidya tapa dana gnana shila guna dharma the all this gives you the sanskar so the sanskar are the basic point which i would like to touch it today because this is how the uh, uh, the sanskar 
transfer from one generation to the another generation and become a tradition and become the parampara. So let's again uh, come back to the word, uh, to the uh, activities, again, physical activities. Uh, Saturday evenings and Sunday morning, morning routine for our was that Kaka, Mummy, and uh, with the full family, we used to go to the Bal Bhavan Chaupati. Uh, only three of us were allowed to go inside the uh, Chaupati, as it termed as a Bal Bhavan. Uh, only children were allowed. I do remember my father talking, and he was always advising all of us, go inside and explore as many things as you can. Just don't leave anything. So the activities included, there was a dance, painting, drawing, drama, acting, singing, harmonium playing, tabla playing, toys, library, cycling, gymnastics, and many more activities. And I think I was the one who explored almost everything. And here I remember a beautiful group of Shana Shakanasha Chaibu Vidyam Charatham Chasadai, Shana Tyage Kutu Vidya, Shana Tyage Kutu so all these activities are also a part of the Gnana, Vijnana or the Vidya. If you don't recreate yourself, you cannot, you cannot go deep into the subject which you want to master in. And that is what uh, uh, we learn basically from the childhood age 4, 5 onwards till we were in 10th standard or 9th standard. Also, one more uh, Kaka's word I remember here is that some Sunday evening, nobody is sitting at home. We all will be going out with the children, uh, not only our but the, we three children, uh, brothers, sisters, but from the whole building. So many neighbors, children also used to accompany us. And we used to go to the Chopati, Marine Lines, Aquarium, Narimine Point, Kala Goda, Gateway of India, Museum, Rani Bagh. I miss it. So many places. And I remember having no money in your hand to go to for the bus drive, we also have walked from the CP10 circle to the gateway of India. I said, he always used to say, Gyan ke ki hai. you have to recreate, you have to rejuvenate yourself. And that was a Sunday evening time for all of us. So the shista, the discipline of the life was also taught here. We used to get up, get up early morning, 5.36 and by sharp nine, the lights were switched off in our house. We all used to sleep by nine ish. Despite uh, the father's aversion, uh, finally, I cannot forget that my mother's feeling were, were also, and the religious nature was also given. The due respect and Kaka allowed all of us to do the Shivalinga Puja. And so we, we every day morning used to go to Shiva Mandir and Pani Chada in Davasya Siloko. Of course, once a week visiting a Panjara pole or a Gaushala was a was absolutely compulsory in our life. So the Dhanam, along with the Vidya recreation, the guna of a Dhanam, the Dharma, the duty of giving to give something was also a part and parcel of our samskara. A uh, reason to mention all these uh, small details is that these small activities of small, small activities and the discipline things given by Vesi Purecha and Virmati Purecha, my father and mother, uh, ingrained in our mind us to become a religious, meditative, truthful, bold, sincere, hardworking, obedient, independent, and courageous. Thus, sanskaras are always given from the childhood, my father and mother, they are the first guru of any, any child. Yes. My, one of my folk master, Ramesh Purav, I cannot forget him. He was teaching in the Bal Bhavan. And the moment uh, was changed in my life when Ramesh Purav came and told my uh, papa that uh, uh, she, they are dancing, she's dancing very good, so you bring her to my uh, dance class, Palurte Natya Kendra, near the Chopati Uli, Chani Rool, and uh, I will be teaching her separately. 
And that was in 1972. Uh, that was a turning point of the life. And I, along with my sister, joined this folk dance class and ballet class. And also they were teaching, he was teaching some classical steps also. I participated almost all the ballets or choreographs created by him, like Mayuri Lava, Motya Sahar, Panchatantra in Hindi, Neela Pula in Marathi. And thus, in this way, the dance attracted me and it became an obsession, practically to the exclusion of all the else. Sensitive enough to observe this passion, my kaka and mommy both encouraged me and supported me throughout the life. Even seeing olden days, let me say that this uh, was my father's inner wish to learn dance in around 1940s. He himself uh, uh, joined the dance class. Uh, and also, after the marriage, he enrolled in my mother's name in the Anirudh Tanna's classes. But as you know, my grandmother refused that my daughter-in-law will not go and join the dance class. If you get a daughter, you can put her into the dance class. And my uh, mother from the dance class switched over to the swing class. Uh, but so intense must be my father's liking and love towards the dance that his own daughter, myself, continued with the dance, uh, his passion and thirst and fulfilled the desire. This is my third standard photograph where I went and choreographed one Bilde and Shiva. As my the Shiva partner was Seema, she was not doing dancing. So I told her, you just take the pose of Tapa and I will dance. And he said, Putra na Lakshan Parna Mati and I was as if he's learning from Ramesh Guruji. And this is the picture which was clicked uh, by the school people. And um, I started dancing also and creating and innovating at the age of seven. So coming back to dance training in the folk dance, uh, like all my parents, uh, my kaka also made me learn so many things. Like I used to learn drama, ballet, acting, RSP, music, harmonium. I was going to many classes also along with the Balmoman activity. This is the first state award I received it in 1976-77. Uh, this was a drama, Raja Rani Ko Chahiye Pasina in Hindi, uh, uh, was created by Balanrutya Nancha Kendra of the Ramesh Pulauji. And I played the uh, child actress. I received the state award as a best child actress award. And that was a proud moment for the whole family. Also, uh, I also participated in one of the film of B. Shantaramji, Raja Rani Pujaye Pasina. And all, while doing all these activities, uh, I used to go to the school from morning, say, 8.39 to evening 5. And I used to change the school itself, run back, run and rush to the dance classes until midnight, the program practices of the classes. So progress in my dance was made possible only in large measure with the loving concerns with the parents and a loving support of my friend. Of course, I'm coming to that point also, Amitrata. Looking at my devotion and sincerity, love and patience, my folk master, Ramesh Puravji, took me to the Acharya Parvati. A Bharatnatyam Guru, a well known Bharatnatyam. Alas, the first meeting was he refused to, talking to me or taking me as a, his student. He said, he just said that I don't teach uh, any more small kids. I have stopped taking the kids. Very young, angry person, and I felt like uh, he was. Uh, he was a very strict person. I was a little afraid. But slowly, gradually, when I learned, and I remember, Nari Kela Samakara Drishtate Api Sajjana Anne Badarika Kara Mahireva Manohara All the Sajjana people are like a Nari Kela. Nari Kela means a coconut. They are very hot, very uh, from the outside. But from inside, they are just like a fresh, sweet coconut water. And unnamed is all others who are really praising in front of you. But that fighters like a 
boar badari ka kar and they are just out, very beautiful from outside very uh, sharp from outside but not always good from inside so to know the sajjan one needs to understand the hardness of the guru is that who antar hata sahara de to bahar mare chot guru shishya कि ये जो रिलेशनशिप है कि वो अंदर से हाथ को संभाल के आपको सराहत आए और ऊपर से डांटते रहता है दैट वॉज द रियल गुरु आई हैव ट्रेन अंडर एंड ही रिफ्यूज टेकिंग मी टू दस क्लास सो बट माई फादर and of course the puro sir both of them insisted and did the follow up for more than 3 years and was always taking me to see the practices of the acharya ji's choreography whatever he used to conduct in the work whatever workshop he is i used to go and sit there and watch anywhere in the mumbai so once guru ji sent a message with the ramesh puro sir that uh, uh, no before that uh, he asked uh, in one of my meeting he asked me why do you want to learn classical dance what do you want to do, do with after learning what are you going to do it and i was like uh, very quick a 9 year old girl gave me answer that i want to become like you i want to become like you guruji and i want to start or i want to teach or i want to have a dance college and guruji was a little bit taken and he did not answer as such but in the same year during the guru purnima day i received a message from pulak sir that uh, okay now guru ji has accepted you and i don't till now i don't remember i don't know why guru ji accepted me with this answer or or what changed his mind and uh, i was very excited of course the joyous moment was there and the whole family was excited and uh, I remember going and buying, purchasing a new slacks that day for the dance class. Here, I never realized that this is what this was the turning point of my life. The very first day, the Guru Purnima day, I went there with a thali of uh, flowers and mithai and fruits and whatever you go and do the pranam with the books. I went. The first thing he told me to open the book and write the shloka. That was the shloka from the Bhagavad Gita. Yatad agre vishamivam parinami amruto pamam tat sukham sattvikam proptam atma buddhi prasad. The sattvik sukha wo chij hai. The sattvik sukha is that which seems like a poison at the first, but tastes like a nectar at the end. So happiness in the mood of a goodness. This is the pure. intellect situated in the self knowledge atma buddhi ke anand se utpann hone wala ye sattvik sukha the one which arise out of from your soul and which gives happiness to your mind is known as a sattvik so you told me that anything you do it has to be based a sattva needs to be the base whether it is very poisonous whether it is a hardship whether it is whatever in the beginning but the result should if the result will be in the amruta in the form of nectar if you really have a base of a sattva so also what is a sattva was taught to me yahi sattva naam manaprabhavam tatcha samahita manatva duchate manasau samadhau sattva nishpatte bhavati what is sattva manaprabhavan sattva is that which comes out from the mind yehi sattva nama manaprabhavam tatcha samahita manatva duchyate what is samahita mana mana samahita mana is the concentrated mind ekagra mana concentrated mind me se utpanna hone samadhi avastha tak concentrated mind jab hota hai to sattva utpanna hota hai see the level of the sattva he is spoke to me the first very first day i of course that time it was not very easy to understand at the age of 9 10 9 or 10 but the 
foundation was made on the sepia. And that gave a very different light to me. So this was the first lesson which was leading me to the spirituality. I mean, see, we all have heard the, that uh, when you go to the Indian classical dancer or list, listen to dancer, they say it's a divine, it's a serene, it's a path to go to the enlightenment. It's like a moksha prapti, it's like, or a Bharatanatyam dance or the classical dance is a spiritual experience in itself and all. Here, I would like to mention, after my experiences, what is Indian classical dance? Dance is way of life with the thoughtful philosophy and language of a soul through the body, where dancers become one with thee. And it is the realization of such shit and ananda. That is a nritya. Nritya, so uh, what is this uh, uh, all about when we talk about? So this all goes around our training. It is a basically of our own training where the shraddha, the bhakti, shraddha is a, a complete surrender. Bhakti is devotion. Udyam, that is the hard work. Dhairyam, patience. The knowledge of the shastras, whether it is Veda, Upaveda, uh, Puranas, Ramayana, Mahabharata, Subhashita, morals, uh, value learning, uh, Subhashitas, or history, geography, maths, geometry, or anything, the shastra learning. And the sampradaya, sampradaya, uh, the what is the sampradaya? One of the student sampradaya, sampradaya is the your own duties, your own uh, path. So there are six paths: udyamam, sahasam, dhairyam, buddhi, shakti, parakrama, shadaite yatra vartante, tatra devo sahayata. When did, when this God is going to help you? If you have a sattva better, which I already spoke, that sattva needs to be there without sattva. With the, with the sattva, what else are needed? As a student, the udyama is a strenuous, continuous effort. effort. I did today practice and tomorrow I forget. I read today and tomorrow I, no, you can't. Your exams are postponed or your exams may be at any time. So, Udyamam is non-stop effort, is a must in the life of any student or anybody. Sahasam is yes, courage. You need to have a courage. Dhairyam is a patience, buddhi, intelligence. Shakti is a power and physical power and strength. Parakrama is a dweller. All these six, wherever they are, they God Almighty renders assistance to him. And this is what I learn and also I teach to everyone that we must do all these uh, <clears throat> activity, activities. There is one more beautiful shlok I remember of the uh, student uh, which was taught to me. Yaha patati likati pashyati paripruchati panditan upashrayati tascha divakara kiranai nalini dalam vivam vikasyate buddhihi. One who reads, writes, sees, inquires, and lives in the company of the learned one, his intellectual intellect expands at like the lotus petal expands to be the ray of the sun. Any student must go through the process of this uh, patati to read. He has to read, to write. And to see, you have to observe others what, what they are doing it. Either it is a program, either it is a, uh, attending the workshop, attending the webinars, anything. You have to see. Paripuchati is asking the questions. There are so many people who said that Indian tradition and Indian way of life do not allow people to ask the question, to ask the students. You have to keep quiet. Who said, this is our oldest slope. We said, Paripuchati, you must ask the questions. Your curiosity, you must ask it. And Panditan Upashrayati means you have to be in always the company of a good, learned, wise people all around you. That will really help you to increase the, it's my, uh, your uh, intellect. And uh, I think this is the way we are trained. And uh, uh, of course, I would like to be talk about the Maigurushishya Parampara learning. 
where Guruji was though a task master and a very perfectionist, his teaching methodology was a unique way. This is my Guru Ma, uh, Ma Parvati Kumar, uh, Simati Parvati Kumar Ji. She is 90 around 90. Guruji lived his life till 94 fully. And uh, his, uh, I was talking about his teaching methodology was which was like uh, very different and unique. Uh, the first time inside his house and you see the fragrance of the Agarbati, complete atmosphere is changing. It's a very divine experience of the life. More than 100 uh, murtis of gods and goddesses uh, in his room where you feel like a heavenly peace and he's sitting below the all the murtis. All classes used to begin with the uttering word of the Sri Rama. And this one, which you can see, is a Tattakali. Tattakali is a plant of the wooden plant on which the stick uh, they play uh, and uh, they put the rhythm and we dance. This is a very unique Tattakali. Why I have given this picture is this in the world's one Tattakali which is carved and made and created by Guruji, which has got the four uh, legs as the four Vedas. Surya Chandra as the Vishwa and on that the Asanyuta and Sayuta, the single hand gesture and double hand gestures are carved and he wanted to make the, make the Gopuram over it with these Tanakas, Mandalas and all uh, and this this unique piece he has uh, given uh, gifted me after uh, his death. Uh, Guru Mai has gave, given all his books and this uh, that unique Tattakali to me and I will be making a Gopuram uh, as a was wishing to do it. So that is why I have uh, put this. And Sri Ram say, our uh, class ke shurvaat hoti thi. And one of the very important point is, whenever he used to tell you, he kept angry. He said, Tuji Ram Chandra ki jai. He was a Maharashtra. It means, you don't know this, he will not say. You are doing wrong, he will not say. Tuji Ram Chandra ki jai. Yeah, this was a, this was a shouting point of his anger. This was an extreme anger. So imagine the, the spiritual person, the complete divine uh, personality who has got the Rama in his heart and soul and talking to every uh, person like this. So I felt uh, I'm, I'm nostalgic when I think and uh, talk about it. So uh, uh, that was his uh, way of teaching and uh, while doing anything or while teaching any steps or any 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 word he used to go deep into the root of that word he will tell me come on get up go and search into the library go and look into the vishwa coach look into the uh, sanskriti coach look into the bharata coach look into the vyutpatti uh, shastra it means the etymology of that particular word from the yaskas nirukta and then process go on till you satisfy him. Whether it is two hours, three hours, four hours or two days, nothing can change his mind. And in this process, what happened was I or any of the students, mainly myself, was unknowingly learning the process of research, the process of innovation, the process of various subjects, the knowledge of various subjects. All these subjects are so interrelated uh, was known while doing this process of learning. This is not about the theory. I'm just talking about also the practical dancing. When he used to teach uh, practical dancing, he will teach one line of a composition. He will teach one choreography, two, three, four, like that. He will give you the seven to eight choreographies. And I have to remember almost all the choreographies and then demonstrate one after the other. And he'll say, okay, seventh one is the best one. So we will, he'll pick up the one uh, which he likes it. And best one is the final one. So you write that in the notation format. Look at the, the strength of the smoothie. The strength of the, uh, the physical strength also was needed to go under the training like this. And it was really a good challenge and alertness for uh, students. This is about practical, I told you. The theory also, I told you that how the, uh, the each word was uh, translated and go to the root of the subject and all those things. 
So the same happens in the Abhinaya or the Bhava teaching. Uh, he was always used to, he has never taught us anything directly. Do your eyes big, do your eyebrows down. These are called Anubhavas. No Anubhavas directly. He always used to give uh, Puranic stories or thoughts or the Subhashita or something to erode the feeling or a sattva into your mind for the expressions to come out. For him, the Anga Vikshepa is Antargata Vikarasya Bhaya Prakatikaranam Anga Vikshepa. Anga Vikshepa is that which is there in your mind or a thought. Antargata. Vikaran is the thought, the first thought in the thoughtless mind is coming into your mind. And when you express this through the body, mind, or eyes, or a hand, or a speech, that becomes the Anga Vikshepa. That is the moment. So the Bhava. Nirvikaratmakat sattvat bhavayan bhavuchyate. The bhav is that which is there in your nirvikara mana. In your vikara rahita, the, the mind which is thoughtless for that particular thing, you are, the thoughtless mind gives the first thought, is known as a bhav. So the, imagine the process of learning. No theory class separate, no practical class separate. All are one. All are the path of your learning. A process is one. They are interlinked. They are intertwined. They are not a separate process. So in this uh, learning process of Guruji, I was also going to the school, undertaking all the activities. And it was definitely tough, hard and difficult task. And not a single member of the family, I'm saying, till I know, till I was young, was very happy for, and it was very difficult for my mother and father because there was no support for my dance activities and we were not very rich. Uh, but definitely, yes, the foundation of the sattva was so strong that uh, including my father, mother, myself, and my brother, sisters manage doing this. Here I would like to mention one very important point is in all this process, what uh, different make it, what is the difference is your friendship. With whom you have to make a friendship. Saman Shila Kula Vasanesh Sakaha. It is the uh, <clears throat> Saki or the friend who need to support your activity. There are you no need and thousands of friends around you. One friend is enough, and that is what I've learned in this whole life. Bhavna, uh, she's uh, in this photograph. What you see is a Bhavna. We all call her dearly uh, Sisa Sisa, and uh, we are friends from 1975. That is the fifth standard of my life and uh, I do remember she was uh, very close to me and I used to snatch her to my home though her house was from that side she used to come she used to drop me and then go to her house she used to take my bag up because I was RSP uh, captain and they used to see she then there is one friend of mine Sushma Shilpa and all they are used to see whether I've done the homework or not. If I have not done the homework, they do the homework on the right side page. Because I used to go to the evening, I used to go for my classes and all. And this friendship grew in a very different level. When I went to the college, she was supporting me with all my dance activities and all of my dance classes and also my own education of Sanskrit. After the Graduation, post graduation, also she was completely involved in my uh, all the classes. Today, also we stay together and we have a different bonding. She looks after the complete administration of all my institution, my college, my students. So uh, we have divided dance part is mine and uh, and the other. Then the dance is looked after by her. Look at the friendship of 45 years and you don't fight. People say, 
even husband and wife don't stay how can you but then it's the of course the discipline the sanskar the the motto and love towards the life is very different that is called the friend who is a friend philosopher guide critic and a partner in my life was helped from my childhood and i cannot forget her in the life journey of mine uh so i was talking about this 10th standard i we passed uh, with the distinction and i was uh, very willing to take my science as a subject and i wanted to become a doctor so i went to the zavier's college i took my zavier's college form and uh, filled it up but yes again comes the guru ji in the picture and he said nothing doing she will take a sanskrit and my father and uh, guru sir told me that i have to take sanskrit and i was like a rebellion i said no no i want to take a, a sanskrit of course i did some blunders like leaving home for a day coming back and uh, telling the professor of course i filled the form because it was very compulsory for me uh, and i went to the professor and also told the professor k okay, that uh, please fail me out so that i can go to go back to science, uh, go back to science but all this process was absolutely useless in front of the shraddha and the samudhi which i uh, did it and i opted the sanskrit i stood first in the university i did my masters in sanskrit i did my phd also in sanskrit natya shastra angika abhinay in bharatanatyam and in this way if shraddha hai saburi hai patience hai to god will definitely give us a result my all the training happened in the guru shishya parampara and all these satvagna led me to leading the uh, i i i got the leading role in the dance ballet durga dhali gaudi uh, 4000 or plus shows are uh, happen of this but after the 50th performance in 1981 82 i do remember suddenly guru ji called me and told me this continue this participation from this ballet and i was like how can i do that because on the 50th show sachi kapoor ji had come and seen the performance and he talked and how can i do that but again the shraddha and saburi you have to sometimes believe on your own mentor and that is what i did it and i stopped my participation in this dance ballet and uh, he started teaching me the audio visual presentation of the sanskrit treatise abhinay darpanam written by the nandikeshwar dated between the 5th century to the 12th century ad and this is known as a textbook for indian classical dance especially for the bharatanatyam dance <coughs> there are all together 324 shlokas which are translated and presented non stop for 3 and 1/2 hours by me on the stage <clears throat> and today also i am the only dancer in the world presenting this on the stage so this is the world history research work choreographed by my uruji on me and this choreography <clears throat> the idea behind attempting work of such a nature is to generate a more serious approach to the study of a dance so that the deeper understanding of the theory and the practice could lead to the more mature and perceptive level of performance and appreciation from 1986 this training went on from 1981 to 1986 the first performance of this abhinay darpanam was at iccr new delhi and krishna ganath sabha uh, chennai this was again represented in 1992 uh, of course in between there were many shows <clears throat> in mumbai but unfortunately my guruji was a strict person he was not allowing photos and videos during the shows so i don't have anything of those time these are the pictures taken for the brochure purpose so you can see that but yes later on in 93 uh, 93 it was recorded and uh, archived by the IGNC new, new delhi and 
those who wants to see this abhinandarpanam can see on the archive list and see all 324 shlokas so thus uh in this process of learning in 1981 only uh the fees for guruji was quite high and i could not pay all those amounts so i requested guruji to allow me to earn and learn uh just now people call it as a stipend or people do the uh, people go for this kind of a he allowed me for that and i started the institution kala kalita for the small kids in 1993 uh kala pariche grew into a very beautiful tree of uh, ngo known as sarpoji rajay bhosle uh, bharatnatyam training and research center now who is this sarpoji rajay bhosle sarpoji rajay bhosle is the uh, uh, is is from the clan of uh, shivaji rajay bhosle of maharashtra and uh, these maratha rulers bhosle maratha rulers went into the south and ruled uh, uh, in tanjavur for 300 years and there they the sarfoji raje bosle uh, uh propagated preserved this bharatnatyam form in Tan, tamil telugu Ma, sanskrit marathi also and his marathi uh, all the nirupanas the compositions were brought back to maharashtra in 1940s by acharya parvati kumar ji and given it gift to, to the maharashtra that what bosle kings have done how they have preserved this art form of bharatanatyam which is older this marathi written bharatanatyam is also older than what the chinaya punaya wrote because chinaya punaya the four brothers who 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 engraved this bharatanatyam what today you are seeing it they did the arangat arangitram in the sarfoji sarbar so to to preserve the Guruji's research work on Maratha King. My institution is named on the side Guruji Bajaj Bosle, the <clears throat> Bosle Center. Further on, in 2003, we got affiliated to Kavikul Guru Kalidas Sanskrit Vishwa Vidyalay, uh, Bharat as Bharat College of Fine Art and Culture. Uh, here, um, we uh, teach the diploma, Bachelor in Bharat Natyam Kathak, Master in Bharat Natyam Kathak. more than 1000 uh, students have been graduated from this more than 6 students have received the national scholarship for bharatanatyam two or more than students have received the national fellowship two students have got the phd and uh, in 2018 it's declared as a best college award of, from the university but i have to mention here i can't uh, that all this is run on our own by two of us me and bhavna without any financial help without any grant in aid in mumbai running this is the only art education institute or a college which has no funding at all so uh, this i was talking about the institute so let me go back to again uh, my learning from guruji in 1988 uh, i passed the master degree and also i performed as i told you abhinav darpanam in 86 i performed it all over and i received one very beautiful letter from the sczcc to perform the abhinav darpanam but guruji refused he said you have got the uh, invitation please go and perform and i was shocked i understood that no this is something wrong and i requested the institution to write a letter to guruji and guruji was so angry that he said nothing doing i stop your dance teaching get out and that was a shocking news for me but i did not give up i just continue going to his house every day morning 9 o'clock as usual go to his house eat breakfast sit beside him and then have a lunch guru ji will go to sleep i'll start writing something then evening again class he will start and i will sit next to him again night i will have a, a dinner with him and then go home this process no teaching he was not teaching me he was teaching all other students and i was sitting next to him watching maximum he will say take this book out show me this give this that's all he was doing it 
not one day, two day, one week, two week or two months. It was two years I was punished. But constantly shraddha, constantly tapa. This is with to take the vidya, the tapa, and to, to get the gnana, not to forget your dharma, not to forget your duty, was followed by me. And after two years, once on the dashera day, he told me, "Get up! You have to. You are watching this story varnam from last uh, two years. Show me the first trikal jati and a pallavi of it." And I was. I just got up with the tears in my eyes and I performed completely Jati and uh, Pallavi accurately the way he wanted it. And he was quite happy. Then he restarted my dance. But do you know what these gurus do? It? In this punishment also, they taught me how to teach, how to read the body line, how to read in between the line of the poetry, how to uh, how to uh, behave, how to pronounce, how to play Tatakali, how to play Natuangam. All this two years process was a full of learning. And I, I want to share one beautiful shloka with you. I can't resist uh, giving you this shloka. The body line the body line was read by Guruji in such a beautiful way. Maunam kala vilambascha prayanam bhumi darshanam. Brukuti annyam ki varta nakaram shadavidam smute. He said there is no need for people to speak. Your, his body gesture only will tell you whether he is telling yes or no. Maunam means keeping quiet. Kala vilambascha means time passing. Prayanam means just go away. Bhumi darshanam to look down. Brukuti your eyebrows from annyam ki varta to talk something else only when somebody is asking, ah, have you done your homework? Uh, my mother was doing this and my some other answer you are giving me or some other topic you started. These are all six methods of saying no. This is one shlok. Like that I can give you the list of the shlok based on the psychology. How do you sit? How your hand is kept and what you are thinking in your mind? Whether you accept, whether you respect, whether you know, say yours is your posture is talking. So the psychology, the sociology, the anga pratyanga and mana and chitta, buddhi and ahankara all work simultaneously. And that can be read by a person who is known, who is an expert in this field. This is what we learn sitting next to him, how he used to... Uh, he was to evaluate the moment and on what pace he used to evaluate the moment. And a lot to be learned sitting next to your own guru. Or definitely, of course, when I told you that you have to be always in the contact with the good people around you or the knowledgeable people around you. This is what they teach you. So punishment was not a punishment, but of course, a learning part of a learning. Of course, after that, uh, uh, I did my master's in uh, master's in Sanskrit. I also, with his own, uh, look at his powerful mushti, and he's talking that you have to do the uh, the IAS. Of course, I did the IAS, but uh, like other young girls, even I never wanted to become, do the jobs and all those things. So, I first exam I passed, but I did not continue. But I, I feel. That I would have listened to what he said. That is the only one thing which I did not listen in my life of my guru. I uh, after that, after my IS also I passed my law exam, and uh, I I was teaching from 1981. So the first Arangitram I did it in 1993. Then onwards, these are my some few Arangitrams. Uh, in my Sarfoji uh, NGO, which I talk, there are various activities. There is a mission and goal of pioneering college, offering which diplomas and degrees. So the very important mission and goal was to emphasize on the Sanskrit, on the yoga, music, tal, journalism and dance relation. Uh, then uh, other art forms and dance relations, culture and dance, music and dance and other relations. 
and preparing the artist for uh, torch bearers of the tradition. This is what the basic point to start with. And uh, under this NGO only, I've started a search, uh, Save Our Cultural Heritage, uh, where uh, in this search, we also have the counseling, we have the research wing, we have the performance wing, we have the annual event wing, and we have got many other things. Uh, these, this search comes with the, again, basic sanskaras and the vidya tapa dana shila dharma guna. Without that, the search cannot be a search. Thus, the seed of the relationship between the Shastra and Sampradaya sowed in me via the Abhinaya and developed and grown this as a soldier. The very important factor over here that all students learn the theory and practice which are connected. Uh, so again, once more, finally, I want to tell you that Shastra and Sampradaya go hand in hand. While doing this, uh, I also received the Government of India Junior Fellowship for the Samanya Abhinaya of Natya Shastra, a Senior Fellowship for the Kalasa Karnas from the Kumbharajas of Tiratna Kosha. And as a performing academician, I tried to bridge the gap between the theory and practice by conducting rare research works on innumerable ancient Sanskrit treatises and transmitted them into the audiovisual classical dance presentation or a performance on the dance ballet uh, and promoting the heritage of ancient languages and also the art. Some of my research productions, I will be very shortly, what is the time now? I have time? Yeah, I have time. Yeah. No, it's it's about 12, uh, Sandhya Ben. Ha, ah, so... Uh, can I just uh, show the Ritu Chakra? This is one production. Yeah. Yeah. Then Adi yeah. Shankaracharya production. Then Ashtanaika production. Then this is a production based on Ritu Samhar. This is a production on Sarfoji's Nirupana. This is a production on Shankaracharya. This is a production on Insaniyat Ka Jakira. This is a production on Vibrant Gujarat, the Brahmananda, the Akasha Pelikana, uh, Om Sarva Shiva Mayam. And many more based on, again, all the text, the Sanskrit text. Then uh, also I have authored, uh, sorry, uh, I have uh, penned many write-ups. You know, there are so many write-ups, more than 500 write-ups. And all the Arangitrams were based on this. We also have got some research-based books. Uh, these are the some five books. You can see this, Angika, Vinay, and all those things. The latest one are the Nati Shastra written in Marathi, translated for government of Maharashtra, written in Gujarati, translated in Gujarati for government of Gujarat, and I'm also translating in Hindi for the government of uh, Madhya Pradesh. Uh, I, uh, as mentioned by them, there are some awards which will be there. This is a uh, national award. Then comes is the state award of the Sanskrit, state award of next, Sanskrit uh, state award of culture, then uh, Gujarat state award uh, or, uh, for the culture, this is a television award for the Hirkani. And uh, definitely, I have performed all over the world, uh, almost all part of the world. And the final message, no alas, only manner, udyamena siddhyanti karyani nacha manorate, nacha sukta sa simvasya bravishyanti mukaha. So everyone needs to do the manat, manat, manat. Let me pray on, om asatoma sad gamaya tamasoma jyotir gamaya bhuktyorma amrutam gamaya. हे ईश्वर असत्य को सत्य की ओर ले चलो अंधकार को प्रकाश की ओर ले चलो मृत्यु को अमरता की ओर से ले चलो ईश्वर प्रणाम नमो नमः वंस अगेन आई विल बी थैंकिंग माय फ्रेंड भावना मृणालिनी माय डॉटर हु इज हेल्पिंग मी टुडे एंड द दृष्टि कोंटिंग थैंक यू वेरी मच थैंक यू वेरी मच थैंक यू सो मच संध्या बेन फॉर सच अ थॉट प्रोवोकिंग एंड ऑल इंस्पायरिंग सेशन Please accept my namaskaras. Dance is the hidden language of the soul and of the body. And Indian classical music and dance are designed to elevate consciousness of both the body and the soul. 
I really appreciate the respect you render towards our traditions, art, and culture. Also appreciate your endeavors towards preserving and promoting our Indian classical dance, Sanskrit literature, and cultural heritage. So many takeaways today for our audience and the participants, Sandhya Bain. You've taught us the six-fold path to achieve learning and perfection, the udhyam, sahas, dhairya, shakti, parakrama, strength. Of course, all of us, the audience, should remember and take this path in life to achieve whatever is achievable. Thank you so much once again, Sandhya Ben, for being with us today. It is an honor to have you and National Awardee with us today for this wonderful session. We also thank Ubain Bhai Asher to introduce Sandhya Ben to Drishtikon Talks because of which we could have you over here today, Sandhya Ben. Yeah, thank you very much. We will move, take over some questions from the audience, uh, Sandhya Ben. We have a question from Ajay Bhai Jasrani. Uh, Sandhya Ben, so nice to see the heights you have reached in Bharatnatyam. Why do you think other girls or women from our Bhatia community do not take up this seriously, even after showing their talent in younger years? Is it lack of motivation? Uh, no, no. Uh, I not only the motivation; it's it's the path of darshak. You should get the right teacher, and parents are always sending you. You know, parents. Gode ke pani sudhi gode ke pani piro kape. Pani pira lai gode jo mar chala kuno kape. So the point here is, I think the right teacher. If you go, they don't leave. I have got my students, touchy students, who have done their. Uh, uh, so they learn, they did Arangetram, they continue, they teach. Maybe they will not take a career as such, but simultaneously they will not leave also. They will remember and they become a very good darshak. They will become a very good prekshak. That also we need. We need a rasika prekshak also and a knowledgeable prekshak also. So I have taught them to become a good writer and they start writing and they write the reviews on dance. Some there are two of them, I think, uh, also writing about a dance on the Mumbai Samachar or some other newspapers. So I'm saying these are the points where uh, you need a path of darshak or somebody who needs to uh, take you to that path, I think. That's the way we need. Uh, yeah. so, so to encourage our young girls, we need to take them in that direction. And probably if they really yes. have the talent, they will take up and continue this practice in life further. Right, right. Uh, another question, um, uh, Sandhya Bain, uh, it's from Atharvarol. Uh, Tai, where can we see the 324 shlo shlokas of Abhinaya Darpanam? Uh, if you want to see my dance, you can go on IGNCA, Indira Gandhi National Center of Performing Arts, New Delhi. They have got their website. If they don't have those lists of the archive, you can write, you can mail them and ask them how and when oh, they can see those uh, if there is a demand nowadays because of this uh, COVID, they are showing many of these uh, archival productions uh, online. So you may be able to see online production also. Okay, or otherwise, good. you can have a Abhinay Darpanam as a textbook if you want to read. There are online textbooks also available with translation. Okay, that's, that's there is a Giri nice store, nice. Giri store, which has come out with a very nice uh, translation of this Abhinay Darpanam. You can go through that. You can buy that book. Okay, okay. Thank you. Thank you so much, Sandhya Bain. Uh, Sandhya Bain, we also know that you are a, a writer. So you've written a poem on uh, the Sanskrit day, Samvardhaniya Kaladhara Vrikshaha. Please pardon me for my pronunciations if I go wrong. Absolutely right. right. I'm impressed by the lines. Nrityancha Kurvanti Sadeva Vrikshaha, Gitancha Gayanti Mudeva Vrikshaha, Layena Talena Yuktahi Vrikshaha, I think if you can throw some light on these beautiful lines, our actually, audience... Actually, uh, I was asked on the environmental day to write something on a, a Indian dance and Indian environment. So the first thing in the environment or in the... This was Vriksha or the, uh, the tree. I'm sorry, trees are the only... Uh, only thing which is Shashwat, they they give what not, they give you everything. 
but what are they a part of dance yes they are part of my dance part of dance because every movement of their from the seed, seed which is sown from there to the uh, branches and trunk and the flowers and the fr the fruits everything is dancing according to me and that's how the whole process of that writing and they said we we want something in a sanskrit if you have if somebody is so I, i tried finding it in rutu savar i tried for this i forget finding it whatever thought comes in my mind let me write it down let me pen it and i penned it and uh, it has come so it is the uh, the the nature uh, which is going to help you us all of us save nature save environment that thought process has put into the process of the Wonderful. dance Wonderful, wonderful. Very, very nice lines, Sandhya Ben. We are really impressed. <laughs> Thank you very much. Okay, the next question is from Atharva. Uh, at what age or stage of Bharatanatyam can the Arangetram be performed? See, uh, uh, basic uh, basic point is that when the Arangetram is the first stage on the dance. Now, when the Naika is shown. of the virohod kantika the one who is se uh, uh, separated and in pain and one who is a kandita who has seen the um, oh. marks on the body of the beloved person and getting angry all this abhinaya do you think the age of 5 or 6 or 7 or 10 year old will it be suitable i'm saying it's a very simple thing then what is a right age to become a dancer when 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 we say we say tanvi rupavati shyama pinonnata payodhara tanvi means the slim one shyama means 16 year old so the shastra says 16 year old is a very good timing for a person to do the performance but nowadays uh, it becomes some time of business so a 5 year old is also doing and 35 year old also doing and 50 year old also is doing so instead of criticizing any age group i feel it is up to the uh, guru and shishya to decide whether why what was arangetram the guru used to tell that oh all the uh, um, great vidwanas come and see what i have taught my student and they used to the vidwanas used to ask okay do you know this alaripu do you know the out of 10 alaripus do you know the fifth one do you know the kandam do you know the sankirnam and she used to perform that what that is arangetram to be what we are doing is i'm say it's just a religious ceremony how we have uh, demoted uh, moted the other ceremony is the same thing as happened with the arangetram also so for me 16 onwards is a very good age to do the arangetram thank you thank you so much here uh, i would like to mention the guru shishya parampara was very sacred and pious it was heartening to see the depth of your relationship and faith with your gurujis namaskaras for that okay we uh, we uh, one more question i have uh, for you sandhya ben what is your thought on traditional dance versus modern dance dance is a dance whether it is a traditional or a modern antargata vikarasya bahya prakatikaranam anga vikshepa what is dance is anga vikshepa is a movement right any movement which has got from the heart from within and come out as a body line or a body gesture or a, a movement e this that dance is the best dance i will not call traditional dance folk dance tribal dance modern dance western dance they are all dance and we are all the dance sadhana we are all sadhakas we sadhakas have no right to criticize one and other style we have no right it is the it is the human being it is your own sattva which is going to you really need to learn to appreciate every art in whichever form it is so this is good and this is bad you will not believe i'll tell you my experience my classes are run where in saint columba school from 1981 and opposite the same in the same building same school uh, shamak dawar classes are so there are nowadays there are so many panicky parents come and say no she wants to learn that also she wants to learn this also i said yes why not she can learn that why not she can learn that also so it is up to that particular human being 
and the upbringing and the sanskaras themselves there are so many students uh, leave that and come and make this uh, classical dance as a career there are so many others who make the career in that field is it what is wrong in it you should be you should be bold enough and you should be uh, broad enough to appreciate all art forms all art forms are beautiful and divine if your soul is divine actually so spiritual i must say that you really get a connect to god when we perform any dance form so it is absolutely uh, up to the person who's practicing any dance form if he or she has uh, you know full faith in the art form then i'm sure we uh, reach heights yeah it is i i have uh, like i i will always say the buddhi karma anusare jo buddhi hai wo aapke karma ko hi anusar karti hai so it is based on that you move your life uh, so it is your buddhi who is going to decide everything so ati sarvatra varjay atishay of the western atishay of a classical atishay of a folk anything ati is varjay you should be in a limitations of your you should understand the actual spiritual uh, uh, a sense of that particular art and enjoy and and then reach it to the rasa or rasa swad all those are very big things for to reach that you really need to uh, do the sadhana thank you thank you so much uh, for such a wonderful session uh, sandhya bhai it was really our honor to have you with us it was very insightful and uh, we've learned so much from you today thank, thank you, you once again for thank being you. here thank you very much thank you very much now uh, to the uh, moving to the participants hoping that all our participants have enjoyed this wonder woman series on behalf of team drishtikon i once again thank sandhya bain purecha for sparing her valuable time and sharing her invaluable experiences and success mantras with us i also thank our very patient and interactive audience for their participation in the webinar this webinar was streamed live on youtube and our channel drishtikon talks and will be available for reviewing and sharing with friends and family the questions that were unanswered during the session are well noted and will be responded by us through email any further suggestions please feel free to mail at drishtikon.talks@gmail.com d r s h t i k o n dot t a l k s at gmail dot com. Our next session will be on the fourth of October, so please be with us on the fourth of October. Before I sign off, uh, I we would, uh, in honor of Sandhya Bain, since she is a national awardee, we would be playing the national anthem, and I request our audience and participants for today to please stand up for the national anthem, requesting Dhawal Bhai. to please play the national anthem for us double bye please play the national anthem for us jana gana mana adhinayak jay he bharat bhagya vidhata punjab sindh gujarat maratha dravida uttal vanga हिमाचल यमुना गंगा उच्चल जलधि तरंगा तव शुभ नाम जागे तव शुभ आशीष मागे गाहे तव जय गाथा जन गण मंगल दायक जय हे भारत भाग्य विधाता जय हे जय हे जय हिंद थैंक यू